welcome back to my channel danny here from golden finds i'm also here with hubby we are still here in our adventures in orlando well florida we're actually near clearwater and of course we had to do some thrifting if we're out here in florida why not we're gonna definitely check out what they have out here in the sunshine state so let's go ahead and check out what we find thrifting out here in florida this goodwill is so massive just from looking at it from the outside you guys it looks huge i'm sure they have some type of color system too I feel like you always find Norman Rockwell dishes at the thrift store. I'm not too sure if they are worth much, but definitely look them up if you do ever cross them at the thrift store. Hey guys, Daniel here. Welcome back to a thrifting session for 2024. I'm super excited to bring you guys along for this thrifting session in Florida. I did come across a few radon pieces as you guys see here. This one was a soap bottle dispenser and it was really cute. I do know from this collection, it's like a polka dot collection. If you're new to my channel, I do hope that you guys consider subscribing. Make sure to hit that red button. I really, really loved this snowflake pitcher and it was from Kirkland's. So this was a good buy. It still looked very brand new and I love all of the details on the indented snowflakes. Now we see a vintage gravy boat. I believe this is going to be a gravy boat. It was very adorable. I love the prints on all of the sides and on the actual gravy boat. And this week's comment of the week goes out to Karen B2382, my amazing friend. Hello, my wonderful friend. Looks like you and Joe had such a wonderful vacation. So glad you had such a fun time and relaxed together. Karen, thank you so much for always being so supportive and being such a wonderful friend. You really are such a blessing to not only I, but Joe and even our Goldie Bella. Thank you for always just being so wonderful, keeping my dad in your prayers, and just being an all-around amazing, wonderful, supportive friend here on YouTube and also in the real life and always communicating with me in Instagram or YouTube or just being there for us it just really means so much to me so i really appreciate that you always come back and support me here on my channel and i really do appreciate you so much and always thinking of me when you're out shopping or you find things that you know that i may love and you share them with me i really do appreciate all the time that you have given me and i am so blessed to have you as my friend so thank you so much for always being such a wonderful friend so make sure that you guys also leave a comment on this video so you may have a chance to be featured in the following video. Thank you so much again, Karen, for everything. Not exactly vintage, but still very, very cute. As you guys know, if you ever come across a vintage Christmas tree like this one, definitely do some research. It will resell for a lot if it's an older piece and if it also has the base of it, which is what holds the light bulb. And found some more Ray Dunn. Came across this Merry Christmas plate and it's cute i love the stitching method that they have for this christmas collection with the red on the outside border of it and there was also this platter which this is from an older collection as you guys can see it has a little drawn christmas tree and usually these pieces are a little bit older it still even has the store tag on it from the original one which i think was from home goods then i came across these really cool vintage christmas glassware cups So I will say that thrifting in Florida was interesting. Now I will compare thrifting in Florida to thrifting almost in Nevada and also in Texas. So I have been able to thrift now, of course, my home state, California. I've thrifted in Las Vegas, which is Nevada, and also in various parts of Arizona and Texas. And now I have added Florida to the list. Now, unfortunately, it just wasn't 
really like amazing in the wow factor. Now I do see that I compare it to Vegas and Texas because unfortunately those all had the same kind of like same way as in like the feeling that I had that I wasn't really finding a lot of treasures. Now don't get me wrong, there are some amazing things that I ran into, but there wasn't anything that gave me that wow factor. So I don't know why, I have such, such good luck in Arizona. Arizona is like one of our top favorite places to thrift because they have a lot of stores in Arizona. In Florida, they were pretty stretched out, like far away from each other, and we really didn't get to go to as many as we would have liked, but I still feel like we went to enough stores to kind of get a vibe of how the thrifting is out there. If you guys are from Florida, let me know in the comments down below if the thrifting is better and if maybe that's just, it may be different for me. I don't know if maybe we just didn't hit the right stores or maybe the right part of Florida. It may be that it is actually amazing, but personally from my experience of having all of those states now, I feel that Florida didn't really give me that wow factor when it came to thrifting. Now I did pick up a few goodies that you guys will have to wait and see for the haul at the end, so make sure to stick to that. But I just wanted to give you guys my feedback as far as thrifting wise. I know that California is definitely like like my gold mine and then um arizona if i had to place between texas florida and nevada i would have to say that the next list would actually be california as my top arizona then florida and then probably Nevada and Texas tie for the last position just because those have not been the most best experiences and I just again it may be because I'm thrifting for different things it may be that you thrift for different things and you actually score very well in those states but me for personally I just didn't really have the best luck when thrifting in those two states again my opinion everyone's entitled to their own feelings and that's just mine I was so glad to see that Florida did not have a short supply of Ray Dunn at the thrift store. So this got me really excited because it meant that I was probably going to find some really cool pieces and it felt just like being back home in California where I find so much Ray Dunn. Now this piece was absolutely amazing. It was very detailed. I'm not too sure if it was hand carved. It must have been. It looks like it is. I'm not too sure exactly what it's supposed to be for if it's supposed to hold a candle in the middle, but I thought it would be really cute for a cat lover and it was very very detailed here we see some campbell's soup bowls now i'm not too sure if these might be vintage i know that they do have a collection of different faces like different characters of the campbell kids and you can find them a lot at the thrift store actually here's a radon birdhouse this was a very heavy piece and i actually have this back home but instead of home it says love but still nonetheless always such a fun find when you come across a radon piece you guys know that i'm still a huge fanatic of radon and that will not change i am a huge and strong supporter and stand for everything that ray does and the meaning behind her artwork in these ceramic pieces here are some more campbell soup bowls again not too sure if these might be vintage the drawings that they do have on them do look vintage but it may not necessarily be i couldn't really tell the year on the bottom of the tag here are a few radon pots these normally come in a set of three but i only found two So many of you started following me because I really started doing a lot of focused thrifting videos purely on Ray Dunn. And as you guys are seeing in the Thrift With Me session, there is no exception in Florida. So Florida also gets what looks like to be a good amount of Ray Dunn pieces. So always make sure that you guys are checking out your thrift store, wherever you may be in whatever state, pop in and check out. You just never know what you're going to find. I have found of course a mega load here in California, but I have found it in Arizona, I have found it in Texas, and I have found it now in Florida and even in Nevada. So that definitely is enough 
you know, proof that there is Ray Dunn out there. You just definitely have to be looking for it and hitting the thrift store as many times as you can. So it was very fun to also be able to experience that in Florida as well, that I was able to find some Ray Dunn pieces. I only did bring a few home. So again, wait for that haul, you guys, so you guys can see what made it home with me. Now, this is from Alfred Making and I actually regret not picking these up. There was a few of these bowls and they do tend to go for a good penny and they weren't too bad at the thrift store. So if you guys ever see them like this or a similar design, look them up on your phone because they are definitely worth picking up to get some extra money if you resell. Here are a few more Raydon pieces, this little metal tool holder really cute but not for me and this elephant set was absolutely so cute look at the mama with the baby elephant it's actually a vintage piggy bank as you guys can see then i came across this whimsical valentine's day mug it was really cute with the teddy bear holding the heart and a gingerbread platter not really the style that i would go for but it was fun to see and i love that they also had a plethora of holiday decor here as well just like they do in california here's an anthropology piece now i'm not sure if this is actually meant to be a real watering can this is part of the molly hatch for anthropology as you guys can see it still has an original store tag and the goodwill tag but i think this is supposed to be decorative i'm not too sure if it's really meant to be used for watering your plants here is a rachel ray dunn mug and this almost fooled me it's a very good dupe for a hearth and hand piece which is you, this is definitely like the same design that they did last year and it really really fooled me until i looked underneath the cup and the platter to realize it was not hearth and hand Now, one thing that I will always do is actually thrift for the holiday season. So even though, you know, Valentine's Day is upon us, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, 4th of July, Halloween, Thanksgiving, fall, winter, spring, you name it, Christmas, I will always be thrifting for those seasons. It doesn't matter if it's the beginning of the year or close to the end of the year and we may have already passed that holiday. I always like to stock up on things that I find throughout the year. And that is the fun thing about thrifting is that my stores, and I'm sure a lot of your stores as well, will always have a holiday section and you're able to thrift year round for that specific holiday that you're always on the lookout for. Now, I don't Think i'm going to be decorating for st patrick's day i do have some st patrick's day items but i just don't think i'm going to be doing that this year and i think i'm going to be skipping out on fourth of july i don't know yet i really want to focus more on the neutral decor i really want to focus having my basic ray dunn pieces out longer because i will of course make the transition into spring i am going to be doing um spring and easter so that will definitely come out with my decorating um but i'm not too sure yet about fourth of july i may or may not i don't have a lot of stuff honestly and i don't know if i'm going to buy anything for it and then st patrick's day i really don't have anything either so i'm just going to leave that out but again go to the thrift store you can always find things year round for your specific holiday I will say that Florida's Goodwills were very interesting. The majority of the store when it came to housewares and other items, with the exception of clothing, there was literally like maybe only like three or four aisles 
of items that were used and then the majority of the rest of the goodwill were all brand new items so it was think of it mostly as like liquidation items that they would get probably from different stores around the area and they had so many brand new items a lot of house items a lot of things for your car and they did have used clothing and a lot of used items like appliances books movies decor glasswares you know dining sets and stuff like that but it was very interesting to see that they actually had like a huge plethora of more brand new items versus used items now here in california you guys see that my goodwill stores get target items which are brand new in most cases it's mostly all brand new merchandise from target but we don't really get a plethora or even like a huge dedicated aisle or section in the store where it's all dedicated to brand new things the majority of the most of the goodwills that we visited had like a whole back section that was like a whole nother store within a store that had like brand new items so that was very interesting to compare and contrast the differences between thrifting in florida and also in california Welcome to the portion of the video where I'm going to be sharing my haul, you guys. It's a rather small haul. Now, of course, one of the deciding factors on that was that I did have a check-in and also a carry-on bag. Now, if I did buy anything which I knew myself I was going to probably buy something that was ceramic, it would have to fit into my carry-on bag. So I had to be very, very picky. But then I also, again, didn't really find a lot of stuff. I didn't have a lot of luck when thrifting out in Florida, but I still managed to pick up three little treasures. Now let's see if you guys were right in figuring out if I picked up anything that you guys saw in the walkthrough and see if you were right. So the very first thing was this Ray Dunn Valentine's Day mug. It's a soft pink. It says cutie. This was $2.98 right here there's the price tag you guys it's a very beautiful mug it's a soft pink absolutely love it perfect for valentine's day i am trying to fill up my cubby wall with mugs which i actually decided you guys that i'm actually skipping out on decorating for valentine's day i really don't have a lot of decor because i did um end up <sighs> going through like my pile of decor and I did end up giving some stuff up for donation. I kind of purged some of the decor and now I really don't have a lot and I really do not want to invest on buying really any more decor since we're already going to be near it. So I'm just going to be skipping out on decorating the hutch and then I'll be back to decorate it possibly for spring Easter. But I am going to be sharing you guys, sharing with you guys the cubby wall. That one is going to be filled with all the Valentine's Day mugs. The next piece that I got was, of course, another Ray Dunn piece. Was I going to leave this behind? Absolutely not. I absolutely think this is absolutely gorgeous. And this is actually a um, carrier for your spoons, knives, and forks. Now this is for some reason and like aeons ago I mistaken this in one of my videos for a 
flower pot holder and it's not flower pots the ones that are straight up cylindrical like this are for your utensils your kitchen utensils so this is a fall piece it says sweater weather hello fall and stay cozy with all of those cute litter little critters they're absolutely so adorable i knew that i had to bring this home with me this was definitely the most bulkiest piece because it had to fit and this was seven dollars and 98 cents and it still has the original tag from home goods so i can't wait to display that i'll probably put some type of greenery in them for the fall when the time comes last but not least i picked up the wooden tray box this little wooden box now if the camera picks up, it says reindeer feed. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like in this burlap and then the red coloring stitching is gorgeous. It says organic grains, 25 pounds of pure magic original brand. Now it's just a simple box. As you guys can see, this was $4.98 and it's just, you know, basic little tray box. Absolutely perfect. Again, going for that neutral feel that I'm going for. I'm going to be sticking with the same theme for Christmas this year. So that was an absolutely perfect piece to bring home. Well, that wraps up the end of the video, you guys. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this thrift with me session. I will be back doing regular thrifting. So make sure you guys keep an eye out because more videos are to come. And then I do have one more video from Florida featuring a little bit of Ray Dunn hunting. Again, we did hit up a few stores, but right now there's really not a lot of Ray Dunn in the stores. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think because I've been shopping here in California too and there's really not that much either in our shelves. So I don't know what's going on, but I still always am thrilled, you know, to seek out. And that wraps up the video for today, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Daniel and Bella here from Golden Finds. If you are new, I hope that you guys consider yourself subscribing to the channel and make sure that you hit that like button if you like what you saw. And thank you so much as always, you guys. Make sure to drop down in the comments down below to let me know what was your favorite thrift find. Was it something that I picked up or something in the walkthrough that I didn't that you would have picked up for yourself? As always, until the next time, you guys. Happy thrifting and go out there and look for some treasures, you guys. They are out there. Say bye. Say bye, pretty girl. Mwah. Say bye-bye. Bye, guys.